Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for mid-July. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Alright Pisces, I am primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. If anything else pops up, I will address it of course. And if this reading does indeed resonate with you, then any interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will not only help my channel grow, it's going to add your energy to the collective pool and just make it easier for me to read for everyone just a little bit better. I'm going to start off with some oracle cards, moving on to a freestyle tarot spread. Towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling a few, not charms, but I will be rolling a few dice to see which initials pop up which sun signs pop up and which angel numbers pop up. So make sure you stick around for that. Cancer had the same card, the antelope and wheat nourishment. It's appropriate. I mean, water signs are incredibly nourishing because they're water, right? The earth needs water in order to allow crops to grow. And we have the quail and gooseberry anticipation. Interesting. I like that combination. I'm almost feeling like there's a sort of, it's like you're waiting for something to happen, but at the same time, you're not getting your hopes up. There, there's a caution here. Now, gooseberries, um, gooseberry trees are loaded with thorns, right? So it's almost like to pluck those gooseberries, you need to either wear gloves or you need to be extremely careful. Quails also hide in low vegetation to protect themselves. So there's a sense of protection and anticipation. I feel like I'm getting seven of pentacles energy. You've been investing in something or someone, right? You've been nourishing a particular relationship and <clears throat> you're either waiting for the fruit to come in or you're wondering what's going to happen. Plain and simple. Is it even going to happen? Is the harvest even going to come in or have I been wasting my time? We will see. Anticipation, nourishment. You, you're getting the same cards as, as Cancer. They had this first same card as well, the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> if you have heavy Cancer placements, go watch that reading. That was a big chunk that flew out. Three of Pentacles, creativity collaboration even teamwork <clears throat> the stag which is justice balance libra energy we have the eight of cups rebirth emotional detachment we have the queen of wands hair The three of cups, two threes, joy. The guardian, which is the devil. Capricorn energy. Six of swords, transition. Bottom of the deck, <clears throat> five of pentacles with the seven of swords. And the seven of cups, two sevens. You remember what I said about the thorns? That's reminding me of this guardian card right here, the devil, which represents our shadow self, right? We all have light and shadow within us. I feel like you've been investing in a particular situation, <clears throat> knowing very well that it carries a lot of darkness also. I don't mean to freak you out. There is darkness. In every situation, there is darkness. And it needs to be addressed. It needs to be embraced. Otherwise, we're in La La Land. The Ten of Cups can be La La Land. I feel like some of you know exactly what you're getting into. You may be dealing with somebody who has a dark past. You may be dealing with someone who has a lot of traumas that they are carrying with them. With the Eight of Cups, I do feel that there's a healthy detachment. I don't see you walking away from this situation. <clears throat> I see there being a healthy detachment it's it's 
it's very easy for a Pisces to take on other people's frequencies, to take on other people's energies, your mutable water, right? I don't see you doing that. I don't see you absorbing this person's drama. I still see you being a pillar for this person. I still see you supporting this person. But it's not like you don't have a life of your own. I see an almost, I wouldn't even call this anticipation. You're almost certain that things are going to turn out in your favor. I'm getting manifestation. I'm getting that you're, you're surrendering. You're surrendering to something because you're so sure that it's going to be it's going to be balanced for you by the universe. The bottom of the deck is is concerning though. Five of Pentacles is isolation. The Seven of Swords is insecurity. The Seven of Cups is well mourning. We have the Hermit as well. But then we have the Six of Wands. It's like this separation or isolation <clears throat> needs to happen for something to change. Tradition. It's interesting how this card is called tradition, but it is a card of independence. I feel like there's no codependency here. For some of you, I suddenly got in my head that you were raised right. You were raised to be independent. You were raised to not need external validation or not seek instant gratification. There is a maturity here that I'm not being able to shake. It's absolutely wonderful. Feel like you're doing your own thing. You're living your own life. You're interacting with the right kind of people. And you're waiting for this person to deal with their drama and come back to you correctly but at the same time we have nourishment so it's not like you're abandoning this this situation <coughs> the page of cups otter yeah there's a softness here i don't see you moving full steam ahead into this into this union it's like you're, you're, you're on the sidelines waiting for th the pieces to fall where they may. Clearance, seven of wands. I'm getting a clearance of ego. I'm getting a clearance of that victim mindset, you know, that happens when the people we are dealing with detach themselves to deal with their own drama. We, we, we victimize ourselves, we personalize that situation. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Oh, this person left me. There's a realization from your side that, well, this person has baggage to handle. This isn't about me. And that is so incredibly healthy. I see you keeping yourself busy. I don't see the situation holding you back in any way. And for the time being, I also see you clearing this person's energy from your auric field because it may have been draining you. <clears throat> but we have anticipation. So it's almost like you know it's a storm that's going to pass. Three of Swords showed up. I'm not saying you haven't been in pain over this. I'm not saying you haven't been sad or feeling lonely about this. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. The Hermit, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Wheel. Six of Cups. Reunion. I can't shake it. And I don't think you can either. You know this is coming back around. Very typical thing for a reader to say. But it's... I showed you that card. There's a reason I went so deep at the bottom of the deck. This person will transition. <clears throat> they will transition into the light from this darkness. 
and you know they will so it's like i'm not saying you're waiting with bated breath there is an anticipation for things to sort out but you're not interfering in this person's healing and that's incredibly mature give them time this is just a two week energy update this is not the rest of your relationship but eventually we have joy eventually we have the justice card which indicates balance we did see the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck this is being orchestrated the universe has a plan and it's beautiful how you're not interfering in that plan you're doing your own thing with the queen of wands i feel like you're working on yourself you may be working out you may be look, getting a makeover <clears throat> changing up your wardrobe you're looking good feeling good surrounding yourself with people who care for you surrounding yourself with people who nourish you in return because i feel like you have been nourishing a particular individual who does not have the capacity right now to nourish you back so you're taking care of your community you're you're surrounding yourself with people who love you this hermitization this isolation will not be in vain it's going to bear fruit i promise you that All right. <clears throat> Let's get a couple of angel numbers and planets and sun signs. We have 10 endings that lead to new beginnings and we have the 10 of cups as well, which is a happily ever after. You may be seeing 10 10 a lot. We have Mars, which is <clears throat> well, it's in Virgo. Till the 27th of August. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you may have your Mars in Virgo. It doesn't have to be, but Mars in Virgo talks about taking action for self improvement, taking action towards bettering your health, bettering your body, mind, and spirit. Right? It's very Yang-like energy, but it's Yang for self. Does that make sense? And then we have Cancer. I'm telling you, go watch that reading. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, or you may have it heavily in your chart. doesn't have to be but we're in cancer season up till <clears throat> the 22nd so you may see a turn around before that all right we have two d's we have the letter h we have the letter m j and e so you could be dealing with these initials you could have these initials in your name doesn't have to be but this is a special mention for those of you that do All right. That was it by Cs. I hope this helped. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.